Well, the boys can at least come back to Nigeria because, as I said, I put out the ultimatum that if they didn't pick up three points, they shouldn't come back from um, Zambia and um, Ross should be sacked on the spot. So that did not happen. Let's just cut down to Chase right now. Um, it wasn't a perfect performance. Things are not working well fully. Um, there are still issues, obviously, with um, the chemistry of the team. So um, it's a work in progress. The defense was a shambles. At, at points, I was like, what the heck is happening? Like, Omerwa was all, all over the, the place. So let me get to the, the good points and I'll, I'll give you the bad points. The, the good points is um, the young gen generation. Iwobi and Yanacho combined very well. And you can see the difference that there now is with quality. The dark days of Aebeni Yakubu thankfully are, are gone because what you saw is the movement of the ball, knowing how to counter and the execution. And if and you look at both of those Gs, very well taken technical, technical Gs. A great G from volley from your boy Iwobi and a great G with um, Iannaccio where he combined with um, Ide, rounded the, the, the keeper and started it in an empty net. So I'm liking that. You know, that is very promising. So, um, I liked what Onazi did in the midfield. You know, the guy, again, first of all, why he's blonde, I have no idea. But I, I liked his um, control of the ball, winning the ball. And was he was always the person picking it up deep and really initiating the attacks to move forward. Um, and the keeper, a light-skinned friend, very well. Did very well. I think it's, it's I, 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 I believe, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But he made some... Very he made two really good crucial saves because Zambia played well. Zambia played well. So for my Zambian brothers out there, look, man, okay, I'm, I don't want to be insulting, but you put forth a great, a great performance because before the first goal, Zambia were the most threatening team. They created the better chances. So I'm not going to front. Let's get back. To, let's just get to the, the dark side. Defensively, issues, disorganization. I uh, didn't know how to clear the, 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 the ball. Or the, and there was no real organized lines. And that thing, there was a lack of leadership in defense. You know? And that is how Zambia were able to really create chances. And if they actually had better, more clinical players, this really wouldn't have, have been a win for, for Nigeria. But the thing that really pissed me off, because first of all, we have a guy called Simon Moses. I think he was the number 11. Um, and Roy decided to put him ahead of Ahmed. Musa. Fair enough. If you're going to make a big move like, 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 like that, putting a player like this over a more experienced and who I believe is a better attacking player, at least let that guy be good. Someone Moses, he didn't, he didn't do, do, do too well. But the thing that annoyed me the most was the crossing was absolutely abysmal. I mean, this is some of the worst crossing I've seen in a while. Awful. Horrendous. Garbage. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. And it's a case of where you're running, you're not even looking up, and you're just smacking the ball. Because I was speaking to like a Zimbabwean friend, friend of mine who was saying that this is like an issue with players, and he cited Kyle Walker about this, where raise your head up. And if your defender is in front of you, try to dummy him, and just try to create space for yourself so you can put in something of quality in the box. I mean, so the crossing from the wings was awful. I mean, Eche Jele was at fault, Simon Moses was at fault at many times. Um, but all that matters is the three points. Gino Roar, you know, I'm not a fan of him. Where did he come from? Why did you hire him? Does he have the experience to uh, manage a Nigerian team? Does he, does he deserve this post? Let's just deal with what we have. He, he, he's there, so we just have to accept it. Um, but I think I thought in the second half, Nigeria were, bit, were a little bit more assured, and you could see the beginnings, the seeds being planted of a team that was, that was slowly trying to figure, slowly figuring out how to play as a team. So, obviously, as a whole, you know, um, not fully impressed, um, not 100% composed and matured. But, you know, this is a new coach and a new manager and a new beginning and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, like, um, that's the key thing is moving forward. I mean, Kelechi and Nacho, this guy is a natural-born goal scorer. 
Alexei Wobe is a very smart, two-footed, um, nice player on the ball. These two kids are very talented. And you also think about Noakali as well, who was a member of, of the Under-17 World Cup team, um, championship winning team. They just need to be coached well. If they're coached well, then this is something that can really... Nigeria can enter a golden generation because I've suffered too much. I've, guys, I've suffered too much. I've suffered too much with the likes of... I, I will repeat that full called Ayebini Yaku, but that's useless aren't nonsense a poor excuse for a footballer so guys okay i deserve it because nigeria nigerian football has suffered too much okay the day the days from 94 to 98 the, the golden generation that they need to be replicated and i believe alexi will be kirechi and natural these guys can form the bedrock the core of a whole new better more skilled and more talented nigeria may it be so Remember, guys, to hook into the official website, man. You know, it's the I've got the Half Hope Football Hot 11, the Hall of Fame. I've got the Brick Academy. We've got different things for the Premiership, La Liga, Syria, Bundesliga, all trying to be updated daily. Reaching there for the website. Peace out.